Monday and I am uh, I am headed to work and guess what <laughs> I am prepared today I am prepared today I have everything that I need to eat um, I have fruit I have vegetables I have a salad so I am good today on my meal so yay y'all know I'm trying to do better this month and um um I did want to tell you guys a little bit about January because my 30-day intermittent fasting challenge is over however I am going to continue intermittent fasting um, and so I just wanted to share my experience for the month of January with the challenge um, I lost a total of 10.7 pounds and I think that is really 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 great because um, I ate healthier than what I was eating um, before I got back on track in January with with a healthier lifestyle but it definitely wasn't the most clean regimen um, and it wasn't what I call my most clean regimen you know so I definitely could do a lot better so, but with that being said over the 30 days of intermittent fasting I lost 10.7 pounds um, and that included uh, not that much exercise I think in total over the 30 days that I probably worked out maybe maybe around seven days maybe around seven days my my working out picked up once I got the treadmill inside the house it picked up from that point but uh, prior to then I didn't really do much working out just my my regular walking that I do during the day which isn't a lot uh, because I work in an office setting so I'm not on my feet a lot and I'm not walking a lot so yeah so I, I'm i really looking forward to uh, what I can accomplish in February with my intermittent fasting um, making even uh, cleaner uh, food choices and working out more so it's going to be interesting to see how that goes uh, the intermittent fasting for me it, it went really well um, I loaded a video too explaining why I chose to do intermittent fasting the primary reason for me doing it is structure I, I just love the structure I love having an eating window and I love the fact that when that eating window is over it is over so there's no uh, late night trying to decide this or eating this and, and trying to uh, uh, you know figure out how much it's going to impact whatever or maybe not trying to figure it out at all and just eating it because you know why not uh, so yeah so the structure of intermittent fasting and I'm doing the 16-8 model which is like 8 hours there's an eating window of 8 hours and 16 hours of fasting so I'm doing um 11:30 a.m. to 7:30 p.m. is my eating window. Um, anybody considering intermittent fasting, I just say um, make sure you do your own research. You know what it's about. It's different ways of doing um, intermittent fasting. If you're a diabetic, you want to make sure you definitely talk to your doctor about it because from some people I know who are diabetics um, they've ex they've explained to me that intermittent fasting would not work for them because of um, sugar levels and different things like that so their doctor advised against it so if you have any kind of di a condition be it diabetes high blood pressure or whatever uh, that you're currently being treated for or, or please just make sure you you um, talk to your medical professionals before you do anything we don't we don't want to do something for a healthier lifestyle and make ourselves sick so we definitely don't want to do that and we don't want to make ourselves sick just to lose some pounds because that's not uh, it at all that's that's adverse to the whole thing but yeah so um I, I really like the intermittent fasting. Um, I'm going to continue doing it in February. Um, how much longer I will continue doing intermittent fasting, I have no idea. I have no set time frame in mind at all. All I know right now is that it's working for me. I like the structure. I, I still feel that I really need this structure. Um, <clears throat> so we'll see what, what the future holds down the road. Uh, emotionally, I felt um, in January I did really good with back balancing my emotions um, for the most part. Um, I had a few rough days in there, you know, anytime I would pass by like a car accident or just a memory or something like that, you know, it would make me think about our son. But um, luckily, um, 
I was able to push through those moments and and not go off the wagon like with emotional eating. So that that was a plus. So I'm hoping that in that space that my coping skills continue to to grow and get better and help me to um you know not try to try to handle that with food because it sure doesn't fix it. And um let's see if there's anything else. I'm going to work out more in February. I'm going to eat cleaner in February. I want to cook more at home in February. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. this morning I was so excited I was so hyped up because I was so prepared with my meals well <clears throat> I left my bag home my lunch bag with all of my meals in it so I ended up having to buy um, lunch today and I'm trying to think, what did I, I know what I had for lunch. I'm trying to think, did I have anything else? I don't think, I think that's the only thing I ate. Yeah, I think that's the only thing I ate today.